This story begins on a farm in Kansas, where I live with my aunt and uncle. I love playing with Toto, my pet dog, every day, running, chasing, and guarding our farm. Although life there was boring, we enjoyed peaceful and pleasant days. Occasionally, a rainbow will appear in the sky. I fantasize about a world far away, beyond the rainbow. The rainbow has seven colors, so in my mind, I imagine a world that is not as gray and gloomy as our farm. Oh, how I would love to go up there and see what's on the rainbow. Today, there's a rainbow again. I took out my easel and brushes and started to paint the rainbow. My aunt interrupted me. Dorothy, could you please bring me a bucket of water? Can you wait a minute, Auntie? I'm trying to paint the beautiful rainbow before it disappears. Dorothy, it won't take long. I need the water now, so please run along and you will be back to painting in no time. Yes, Auntie. I better hurry. I hope the rainbow will still be there when I get back. I ran to get the bucket. But I was in such a hurry that the water splashed all over. It even got on my easel. Oops! There was so much water on my painting that the rainbow became blurry. The colors running into each other. It was a mess. Oh no, my painting! I'm sorry, dear. You can paint another one that will be even prettier. I looked to the sky, and as I watched the rainbow start to disappear, I began to cry. There is no time today. The rainbow is gone. Crying even harder, I ran away. I ran so far. I could no longer hear my aunt and uncle calling my name. When I came to a stop, I felt something pulling on my dress. Toto, my best friend. I picked up Toto and looked around. Where is this place? All of a sudden, I saw a cloud of sand and dust swept up from the sky ahead. Oh my, here comes a tornado. We often encountered tornadoes, and when they came, we would go into the storm cellar that was built underground. I was in the middle of the field with nowhere safe to hide from the storm. I desperately ran home. By the time I reached our farm, my uncle had gotten the animals into the storm cellar. I could see my aunt waving her arms and calling out to me. Hurry up, Dorothy! But it was too late. The tornado was too close. I wouldn't make it to them in time. I had no choice but to go into the house with Toto and hope for the best. As soon as I closed the door, I could feel the whole house shaking. The tornado was so strong it uprooted my house. My house was spinning in the sky. I tumbled around and felt dizzy. I could hear the wind pounding against the house. Windows were broken and the sand and dust came in, blinding my eyes. Once in a while, I would catch a glimpse through the window. I couldn't see the ground anymore. The house had flown up very high in the sky. I don't know how long it took for the house to stop spinning, but when it finally came to a halt, the house landed with a huge thud. Not knowing where I was, with Toto by my side, I went out to the front door. The view in front of me was stunning. Oh my, what an amazing place. There are beautiful flowers everywhere. In the distance, there are birds drinking by the creek. The fruit on the trees looks sweet and delicious. And oh, the colors. The sky is glorious blue. The grass is a magnificent green. The flowers are majestic red and purple. This place looked nothing like the dull gray farm back home. I wondered, did the storm take me to that world I imagined above the rainbow? While I was looking around with excitement at everything around me, I heard a rustling sound coming from the bushes. A group of little people suddenly appeared and surrounded me. <laughs> hmm.